Today, I am in Mission Beach, and in this video, we're going to discuss the pros and cons of living in this beach town city, so stay tuned. Guys, my name is Richard Soto, a local real estate broker with VIP Realty right here in Southern California. If you are new to the channel, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button as we do weekly videos discussing everything there is to know about living, working, and playing in the great state of California. Today is a glorious day. The sun is beating down upon my face. I don't know where my sunglasses are, but it's okay. We are going to check out Mission Beach and we're going to discuss the good and the bad. We're going to check out some of the neighborhoods, some of the dining options, and things to do as well. So it's going to be a jam-packed video. So let's get right after it. Okay, guys, on the way to Mission Beach, and I'm passing the park, and I see hundreds of kids, flying kites, tons of family on a gorgeous, beautiful day. Decided to stop by Pastor Meshach, and I'm gonna ask him a little bit about what's happening today. I see a lot of kites, Pastor. What's going on out here? Yeah, so we're part of a ministry that oversees about 170 churches in the Southeastern California area. And annually, we come out with a group of kids from uh, what we call the Pathfinder Club, and nice. we get a couple of hundred kids to come out and earn kite honors, competitions and Mission Bay has always been a location for us to do so. So you've got people from all over Southeastern California Conference all the way down toward, I believe you go as far as Calexico, got all it. the way up through Orange County, down in the IE and then North County and also San Diego County. I heard a key word that I really love and that's earn. Pastor, I'm a, I'm a coach. I'm a, I also have a basketball program with well over 100 kids, and I always tell the parents, just because you're on my team doesn't mean That's little right. Johnny's going to get to play. That's right. Little Johnny might have to sit on that bench and clap for the team until he earns right. his time on my That's court. Right. I get a lot of bad feedback from that, uh, Pastor, but it's going to be okay. <laughs> okay, so why did you choose this particular park in this part of town to hold your event? Well, I think it goes without saying. If you look at the scenery, if you look at the location, uh, San Diego is such a beautiful spot for events like this, for families, for kids, for young people. And then most of the time there's wind. So we're praying for a little bit more wind today. There's a little <laughs> bit of light today. So the kids will probably do a lot more running than uh, anything else. But just a, just the location. It, it's very appealing. It draws a lot of people towards here, especially a lot of our clubs that aren't from San Diego. Right. Like This is a treat for them to come out for the weekend. Awesome, awesome. So would you consider this a great place to live? and raise a family? Would you feel comfortable relocating to this part of the area? Absolutely, I actually live in San Diego. This is right down the road for us. And so I work in Riverside and when I had the opportunity yeah. to move back to Riverside, I says, once you leave San Diego, you never move back. So we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> I could agree with that. Pastor, thank you so much. I appreciate thank your time. You. I'm about to head out to yeah. the beach, grab a kite and show these kids how it's done. All right, guys, let's jump into the pro, starting with the first pro, and it's going to be the most obvious pro, and that's obviously going to be the beach. There's going to be so many outdoor activities that you can do. I see surfers having a great time, people playing volleyball, kids kicking the soccer ball. I've seen a dad and a son throwing around the football. It's a beautiful day, as it typically is right here in Southern California. So if you enjoy the beach, this is going to be the city for you. In addition to that, there's three miles of boardwalk where you can see all kinds of entertainment and different characters from around the world. I've had numerous conversations in the 15 minutes that I've been here. And believe me, I've been entertained already thus far. So the beach definitely is going to be the major pro. Beach is going to be a prime spot for those who enjoy water and beach sports. Mission Beach is home to permanent lifeguard stations. For those who prefer to play it safe, there are also beach volleyball and basketball courts to work up a sweat before hitting the waves. This particular beach isn't for swimming and sailing. There are plenty of activities for people who prefer to keep their feet on the sand or fly high above it. They make an exciting addition to any gateway. Biking, jogging, volleyball, kite flying, rollerblading, skateboarding. There are endless trails, paths, and boardwalks surrounding the bay so it's easy to spend the entire morning or afternoon exploring. Biking along picturesque shores is a great exercise and it offers amazing views. 
There's nothing like going for a relaxing jog, taking in California's splashing waves. There are so many things to love about Mission Beach, including the many bars, restaurants, coffee shops, and parks. All right, guys, let's move on to the next pro, and that's going to be that Mission Beach is great for families. So if you have kids, this is going to be a great place to call home. Mission Beach was ranked the 24th best neighborhood in San Diego County, and the public schools here are going to be solid as well. Not to mention, as we covered earlier, there's going to be so many things to do for the entire family. So if you have kids, this is going to be a great area for you. For households with kids, accessibility to nearby parks, playgrounds, daycare centers, as well as highly rated preschools is key. There are a few parks and playgrounds in Mission Beach, San Diego, including El Cajon Recreation Department. These playgrounds provide great recreational facilities for kids as well as adults. Families can enjoy a nice picnic under the shade in summer months or walk along the trail for a weekend activity with the kids. Proximity to daycare centers is extremely important, especially if parents have a full-time job. For young families, there are plenty of options for child care in Mission Beach. San Diego, as well as urgent care centers in the area, is a major plus. Okay, let's move on to the next pro, which is going to be crime or the lack thereof. Mission Beach received a solid C, which isn't great. However, when you consider all the nightlife and bars in the area, it's really not that bad. So a C isn't horrible considering all the nightlife and the activity that goes on right here in this particular city. So you should feel safe and secure the majority of the time as I tell my kids, you have no business out past midnight. Take your butt home so you won't have to put your hands on anybody right here in Mission Beach because it shouldn't be an issue. In fact, Area Vibe says that Mission Beach crime rates are 20% lower than the national average. Violent crimes in Mission Beach are 51% lower than the national average. Mission Bay is safer than 78% of the cities in California. Okay, moving on to the next pro, and that is going to be that this is a perfect area for young millennials like myself, ages 18 to 35. You know I'm still spunky, so I put myself in that category. I don't care what anybody else has to say. Mitch rates it as the 10th best place in San Diego for millennials. And no wonder, about 50% of the population is between the ages of 18 to 35. Those looking for love will be happy to know 70% of the residents are single as well, according to Trulia. Pacific Beach may garner more accolades for its nightlife, but Mission Beach holds its own in that regard. Okay, guys, let's move on to things to do and staying on the pros. And you're going to have access to Belmont Park, which is going to be a great amusement park. So if you have kids, they are going to love coming here on a weekly basis. There's roller coasters. There's all types of rides. There's arcades. Actually, I just saw a basketball go across the way. However, if I play it, I'm probably not going to win because I think those games are rigged. Whether you have kids or maybe you're single, it doesn't matter. You can have a blast all day right here at Belmont Park. After you've spent hundreds of dollars on all the amusement park rides, you can then take your kids to SeaWorld, which is just behind Mission Bay, so you can have hours, the whole weekend of entertainment. Yes, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. Anytime I've taken my son to an amusement park, regardless of where we're at, we always seem to spend a couple hundred dollars on rides. Never mind the food, however, it's okay. We have to splurge once in a while and you can definitely get plenty of entertainment right here at Belmont Park. Another pro as we're gonna walk back towards the beach is that it's very walkable. So if you reside right here within this area, there's going to be tons of restaurants. The beach is right there. The amusement parks are here. There's parks, recreation. Everything you could want is going to be within walking distance. So if you're trying to find a neighborhood that's extremely walkable, this is going to be the location for you. So you can have a great time, hit the beach, hit the amusement park, take the kids to SeaWorld, and then walk home, it's a great weekend. Mission Beach is going to be highly walkable. According to zerodown.com, Mission Beach was rated a high 75% walk score. If you love little restaurants and mom and pop grocery stores, cafes and pubs, you won't be disappointed and are all within walking distance. Okay, now let's move on to the next pro, which is going to be dining options. And if you reside in Mission Beach, there's definitely going to be some different options. Whether you want to grab a quick slice of pizza or maybe you want to get some tacos and head to the beach, 
there's definitely going to be a plethora of different options if you're a foodie like myself. You'll be able to find cafes, surf shops, restaurants, markets, and more. Okay, everyone, moving on to the next pro, and that's going to be public education. If you have kids like myself, the public ISD is going to be a crucial factor in determining where I would prefer to move to. And if you reside in Mission Beach, you're going to have exceptional public schools. According to niche.com, they rate the Mission Schools a solid A, which is incredible. No need to pay for private school, so you can go ahead and save those funds for a future college tuition. All right, guys, we cover the pros. Now let's move on to the cons. And the very first con is that it's going to be very noisy. And I'm not referring to the beautiful sounds of the ocean that is smoothing. It feels peaceful. I'm talking about the noise on the boardwalk and around town. As we stated in the pros, it has a very high walkable score, which is great, but it's also a con. So if you want some peace and quiet, it's not going to happen because with high walk scores, that means more people walking around, talking, having fun, enjoying the day and nightlife. So if you want peace and quiet, not the place for you. Okay, guys, let's move on to the second con, and that is going to be the lack of shopping. Unless you're looking for a boogie board, or some inexpensive sunglasses, maybe a hoodie. There is a sale going on right down the boardwalk for $10 a hoodie, which is a great deal. However, if you're looking for big box retailers, it's not going to happen. So if you like high-end luxury goods and apparel, not happening in Mission Beach. Okay, everyone, let's move on to the next con, which is going to be the biggest con in regards to living in Mission Beach. It's going to be very, very expensive. For example, the home right behind me, two bedroom, one bath, just over 600 square feet, currently listed on the market for sale for $1,325,000. So if you're trying to save money, trying to cut a deal, if you want to be frugal, live below your means, forget about it. Mission Beach is not the place for you. Mission Beach is a popular neighborhood for home buyers who can afford to buy a home in the medium price range of $1,500,000. The medium listing home price per square foot was $1,400. The medium home sold price was $1.6 million. There are plenty of rental options as well. In fact, there are more people in Mission Beach who rent than own their homes. Rent prices can range from around $1,700 to over $50,000 per month. I hope you enjoyed hanging out in Mission Beach. What an incredible day. If you're thinking about relocating to Mission Beach, whether you're looking to rent or purchase, if you're a first time home buyer or you're ready to get that mega mansion right off the ocean, my team and I would love to assist you with your next real estate transaction, whether it's in San Diego, San Francisco, or Los Angeles. We have offices throughout the great state of California, and we are here to assist you. For now, I will see you on the next video.